Opinion, The List, Top New York Film and TV Productions, and The Price of Binge Filming, May 14th did a great job of detailing the productions and companies that are economic drivers and beneficiaries of the film and TV tax credit. The numbers are astounding, billions of dollars spent and hundreds of thousands of jobs created. But left out was any mention of the true beneficiaries of the tax credit, local small businesses like mine. The program encourages companies to film projects in New York instead of another state or country. Production companies may be eligible to receive 30% of costs incurred here, including post-production costs. That has brought big productions to our area, including Girls, The Girl on the Train, The Good Wife, The Blacklist and Royal Pains. These bring business for all of us, not just those directly involved in filming. For example, I own and operate a mom-and-pop restaurant in Long Island City. The film industry has kept my business afloat through some of the hardest times. These productions bring people, and people need to eat. That keeps my business thriving. Without the tax credit, I don't think I'd be able to stay open. When a small, vocal group shut down filming on Vernon Boulevard, I advocated to remove that ban so we could continue to benefit from the film industry using our neighborhood. This is important to our livelihood. I urge our governor and legislature, and all candidates running for office, to continue supporting New York's production tax incentive program. Chiana Cherbone Tio Lamandu Kaidi's Rustic Long Island City Get Cranes Daily Alert Sign up for our free daily email newsletter. A summary of the day's top business and political headlines from the newsroom of Cranes New York Business. More newsletters.